Now you will see, we, if we have concentric sphere, then how can we calculate the potential? But suppose we have two concentric spheres of radius R1 and R2. Suppose you have a charge Q1 here and you have a charge Q2 here. So, if we get sphere we have a potential tablet of air. So, the potential of R will be due to its own charge and due to charge on other sphere. Okay, so, what can I say? दूसरे स्पेयर में चार्ज है, उसके लिए उसको पोटेंशियल होगा। तो अब अगर किसी ने हजारों दिन स्पेयर में अपना पोटेंशियल कैलकुलेट करता हूँ, तो उसमें कुछ चार्ज क्यों बनते? तो फॉर इस फोन चार्ज, डी पोटेंशियल इज़ डी वन बाय फोर बाय, इस डी वन फॉर डी डिफरेंस स्पेयर, तो वन बाय फोर बाय एक्सटर्न Q2 by R2. Q2 is the distance R2 from this. So potential into this will be 1 by 4 by epsilon Q2 by R2. This is the expression for potential for the inner sphere. Now, if you have calculate the calculate potential for the outer sphere. Now, outer sphere is the It has charge Q2. But the Q1 charge is the same. So, V2 is the answer, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, Q2 by R2, that is the potential due to this charge. But Q1 also belongs to the outer sphere. The outer sphere can be able to charge it. So, the scale of potential is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, Q1 by R2. That is R2 here, because this is the power of the sphere, this is the charge Q1, that belongs to Q2. Q1 by R2, this is Q2 by R2.